。那因为这几年 COVID 的关系，我们一直都没有机会可以邀请到艺术家来，这次非常特别，就直接请了国际级的艺术家 r o n n i e Horn 来到现场，然后他也为了我们这一次的展览做了整个策划，然后也亲自到台湾做布展。那相信大家会很期待待会就是 Randy 跟 Jenny 的对谈。我想现在就先把时间交给文心书基金会执行长叶小珍 Jenny 女士，来为我们做个简单的展场介绍。我想首先真的很谢谢大家啊！今天早上还下着雨，然后啊，来到内湖，来到文心一所啊。谢谢大家对 Ronnie 的热情，我们都感受到了。谢谢。I would like to first thank you everyone for coming here. It was raining, it was pouring this morning, and all of you are still here to attend this open. Thank you very much. 我想这一次真的很荣幸，可以在文心一所办 Ronnie 的个展，这也是 Ronnie 第一次在台湾啊、呃、的做他。这也是第一次 Ronnie 的作品在台湾，在公共的呃空间里面展出，啊、呃，我们也很荣幸啊、呃，邀请到他本人来布展。所有这一次的作品，除了基金会自己的收藏之外，都是 Ronnie 自己挑选的。哦、呃，我们也一直到礼拜四才真正的确定所有展出的作品。我也要谢谢 Ronnie 这一次为了这个作品把把关了所有的细节，让。这次的展览非常非常完美的呈现。And I'm very very honored and proud that we're hosting Ronnie Horn's first ever exhibition in Taiwan for the public. We're so happy that we even invited her to be here with us. So every work, apart from the collect the ones that were collected by Wen Xin, actually were hand painted by Ronnie herself. And not until Thursday did we decide finalize what to show. And I would also like to thank Ronnie for coming all the way and to to care for all the details to make this a perfect exhibition. 我关注 Ronnie 的玻璃雕塑很长的一段时间，嗯、um, ，直到二零一九年，呃，威尼斯呃双年展，他 Ronnie 在啊匹诺美术馆展览出这个玻璃雕塑。我看了洒落一地的玻璃雕塑，其实我真的很感动。我觉得这个玻璃雕塑似乎呼应着我的内心，这么坚强的外表，看似又这么的柔弱。我觉得 Ronnie 把刚硬跟柔弱，嗯、呃，跟柔软这件事情，我觉得他诠释的非常好。I actually have noticed Ronnie's work for quite some time, and not until 2019, during the summertime, I went to the Venice Biennale and I saw her work in the Pinot Foundation. I saw all of these glass works, and they were so so beautiful. And they show a kind of tenderness. They were strong and tranquil at the same time. It was my like my own mindset. Ronnie 这一次特别挑了这件黑色的作品来呼应我们基金会收的玻璃雕塑。这件作品从来没有在公共任何一个公共的地方做展出。这是 Ronnie 自己的收藏。我们要特我特别的感谢这一点。啊、uh, ，Ronnie 在这一次所有的布展里面，除了自己挑作品之外，这作品的摆设、高度和所有的灯光都是他自己亲自每天在台北的时间教导着我们、盯着我们，把这个展览做到最完美的呈现。The work that you can see later, the black one, actually was handpicked by Ronnie to reflect on the works that we collected. With all these glass works, Ronnie came to Taiwan, and she spent every moment of her time to see how we are organized under this exhibition, from the positioning, the lighting, and everything. She helped us all and see that we make this a perfect exhibition. 我想今天不是一个这么适合看 Ronnie 展呃作品的一天，因为我觉得他的作品不适合这么多人。啊、uh, ，我希望大家能够在挑一天人少的时候，然后啊， uh, 外面的天气再好一点的时候，让自然的光能够洒落在这个展间。我邀请大家静静的一个人，让你自己静下来，打开你的心，打开你的思绪 ，open your heart and mind， 
去跟这个跟 Rony 的作品做一个对谈，去感受 Rony 所要带给我们的感受。To be honest, this today is not a perfect day to use Yoroni's work. So I would like to invite you to come some other time and take your time, be alone, and to feel what to feel what the works are sending you, the messages they are sending you, and what you can feel in your heart. Find a day with few people and with the wonderful sunlight shining on the works. I believe you will see all the serenity inside. 最后，我们是不是用热烈的掌声来欢迎 Rony 来到这里？ Everybody just welcome you. You want to say something to the audience? I, I want to say something to you in the audience.、Um, first of all, the introduction is really quite lovely, and、um, which isn't always the case. Um, um, It's true that I came、uh, and I oversaw the installation because what's important about the work are not the objects, but the experiences they offer, and that needs to be pretty closely、um, controlled,、uh, either by me or somebody who who knows the work well. So that's really、uh, an essential part of the installation. 非常谢谢你很棒的一个介绍哦。那其实的确，如同刚刚所提到的，我的确是特别来啊陪伴大家一起把这个展览所有的细节底定，然后去呃监控所有过程。对我来说，真正一个展览最重要，并不是展出的物件作品，而是整体的体验。而要创造我想要的整体体验呢，的确必须要非常有一个非常了解这些作品的人，非常懂这些作品的人，来去一一细细的打造。嗯，我我刚刚说了，这一次的呃，所有的作品都是 Rony 自己 pick， 所以我想要请教 Rony 说，为什么这次选这些作品 ？Rony， I know you pick um every every work this time. I wondering, uh, what's the reason that you pick these works? Can you can you tell us more well, about the? Well, part of it was that you you'd already chosen two works. Yes, and that was the seed. And I built around that a relationship to, particularly to water, is very important to me.、Uh, um, and、uh, I guess I'm always I'm under the impression that Emily Dickinson will mix well with just about anything. So. 那我知道，呃，之前呢，其实你们已经挑选两部作品要要展出。那其实我的想法就是依照这两部作品，然后再做一个延伸。所以有很多跟海跟水的印象有关的，就如同像是我刚刚像，嗯、呃，有一部是 Emily Dickinson 的这些文字，那其实就是它其实就是跟水跟一切都有关系的一个概念。我知道水对你的作品很重要，我想要知道一下说，嗯、呃。水在你的工作扮演的重要的意义是什么？你最初这个水的主题的联系 ，I know water is very important、um, object for you, subject for you. And、uh, I just wondering that, um, what's, how do you contact with water in the first place? You know, I don't really have an answer. I don't think I have an exceptional relationship to water. But one thing I can tell you is that、um, when I Um, become friends or potential intimates with somebody. I know if they don't like water, it's not going to go well. That's the one thing I know for sure. <laughs> 老实说呢，我其实跟对水哦本身并没有真的特别的什么样的联系或关系。可是就我所知，不喜欢水的人，我觉得这些人我跟他们都无法相处。My relationship to water is very pedestrian.、Um, I enjoy it enormously. In all forms,、um, even when it's quite violent, you know, the, it, it, it's pretty much it, it, it,、uh, it's obviously a mirror for everything around it. Today, more so because of the conditions of weather,、uh, which are confronting us, which are primarily relative to water balance. 那其实我跟水的关系其实是很一般般的，可是我知道水在随处都是。那甚至水呢，它其实是一切的一个镜子，特别是在当今现在气候变迁、气候关、气候的问题，所以水对我们来说是更重要的一个元素。
？嗯，这个这个展览一开始，因为我们基金会收了两件作品，一件是呃 Dickinson 的诗，那个一个是大家进来看到那个透明的玻璃雕塑。那我想要问 Rony 是。呃，他这次从他自己的收藏里面拿出了这个黑色的这个玻璃雕塑，我想知道呃他的起心动念是什么。Rony, you know I collect the、uh, glass sculpture, the light one, the lighter color one. I just wondering why you pick the black one for this yeah, exhibition. You know, I just that was an intuitive judgment call on my part. It's a piece that's been in the studio. Since I started to develop this form, so it's kind of a—I mean, I—I I was inspired, I have to say, because I don't know why I let it go, but I did, and because I knew it would balance that work, not just visually but spiritually. Ah, actually, I made a decision. It's a very conscious decision. I know you have some collections that are more dark, more dark, more dark. That's actually a very conscious decision. I think these two collections should be put in the same space. They 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 should be put in 基金会所收藏的这个玻璃雕塑师的颜色是你自己非常喜欢的颜色。那我我想要知道为什么你喜欢这个颜色？这个颜色带给你什么样的感受？ Uh, that when we were talking, you talk, you told me about how much you like the color of this pale pale、uh, glass work, and I was wondering why 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 do you like that color that much? Is there any specific reason? No, no reason. You know, I, I, favorite things are not my game,、uh, but I, I'm, a, I'm attracted to it、uh, because it's not、uh, so easy to name. It's、cool. like it's a bit like khaki. It's got all the colors in it, you know. 我觉得我喜爱的东西其实很难去界定的。我也不知道为什么我喜欢。我觉得它其实它就是有融合一切的一个感觉，就像卡其色，它就是所有颜色倒进来在一起。我觉得看它舒服。我觉得那嗯。呃我们因为一直不展，不展到星期四，我们才最后呃 final 决定我们要呃怎么样来呈现。那呃布完展之后，我一个人站在展览的外面，我站了很久，往里面看，然后我就跟荣尼说，我突然了解了这个。他所要带来的整个展览的感受是什么？那我想要跟我想要请荣你跟大家分享一下，呃，自然，冰岛的自然对他的创作有着什么样的影响？啊、uh, ，As I mentioned, we only finish the whole planning until Thursday, and when we finish, I was standing from the outside looking into the exhibition area. And suddenly it hit me. I told Wendy that I finally got what you want to send us the messages and the the whole experience you want us to experience. So I'm wondering,、uh, what is、um, you you like Iceland? So what is the nature, the environment in Iceland that hits you? That influences you. What's the nature? Well, the very very beginning of my trips to Iceland, starting in 1975, and then. Quite persistently after 1979,、um, it, it, Iceland's had an enormous influence on my understanding of experience.、Um, one of the things that was especially moving early on was that it, being in the landscape. There was a period when I traveled by with tent and motorcycle for six months, and the experience. Is palpable means you can close your eyes and you can taste it. That's how clear it was. That's how meaningful. Or it's not an intellectual process, but it does eventually come down to some kind of meaning and value. And that really is what centered my、uh, practice. Yeah. 
其实我去呃督导啊，一开始在一九七五年，后来一直延续到一九七九年，然后常常回去。那其实我有在那边花了六个月的时间，就骑着摩托车四处的去欣赏它的风景。那我发现它的许多地景呢，其实。你几乎就是可以闭上眼睛，你的舌头就可以感受到这个美景。这整它是一个整体的感受。那我其实我发现，在当地的这些景色或这些大自然，并不是可以用理性去理解它的，而是它整整体的这个感受、这个体验，才是它真正带给我们的意义。所以我在其中找到非常多价值，我才真正懂了大自然要带给我的这些遗憾。我当我在看啊、uh, ，Ronnie 在啊、uh, 冰岛啊、uh, 拍摄的这个照片，也就是说我们展场已经去看到的这个一个女孩子，她在水里面，然后这个光影在她身上打下来的，呃，不同的光影打在这个照片上，我觉得这个。每一张照片给我的感受是不一样的。那我想要请 Ronnie 来帮我们讲一下这个作品好吗？呃、uh, ，When we step into this exhibition area, we see we see we can see a series of the photographs of different lightings on uh on the girl. So I'm I'm wondering, can you share more about this series? Yeah, um, the series is called Untitled Weather. And it is part of a group of photographs I took related to traveling with this model, in, through, who, who is Icelandic, throughout Iceland, in the in the naturally heated pools of Iceland. And it was really about photographing her in the water, in the weather. It's more about the weather, but the 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 water created conditions of steam and heat and things that also impacted the imagery, and uh, so I was really photographing the weather uh, effectively, you know.、Uh, and I always feel like I have a lot of weather around me because I'm just that kind of person.、I'm, there's an energy that's a little bit bigger than me. Some people have a weather that's much more contained and and unaffecting, and it just it means for me it means that I'm affecting things even though I may not want to. For example, I also notice that now、uh, weather is such an important thing, but in my work it's always been key.、Uh, I've always worked with that as a political, social,、uh, conceptual, mostly conceptual.、Uh, Element in in all the work, you'll see it、uh, in her face certainly. In the two groups you have there、uh, were shot in very different settings. I think that's evident from what's going on with the face itself.、Um, and then on the left, you have these、uh, images of water, also very connected to weather.、Um, As well, so、uh, a lot of what I work with is not necessarily very graphic. It's visible, but it's not really very graphic. 嗯、uh, ，其实这这几张照片是取自我一系列的一些照片。当时我跟一个位模特儿一起在呃冰岛旅游，然后在不同的地方去拍摄了许多的照片。那我们会刻意去找一些比较天然的一些水域，然后去拍摄照片。所以可以看到它是。它其实受到非常大的天气、气候的影响。那我觉得就是水啊，它其实我我想要传达主要是气候、天气。那水只是一个媒介，水呢，它其实本身它可能会创造一些，不管是蒸汽啊，或者是一些水滴的这个感觉。那这些都是带给它一些不同的一个特质。那我自己本身从以前一直以来都是一个很会接受到气候、天气、能量的一个人。有些人他们可能比较害羞一点，那可是我就是会跟着天气。会影响到我自己的情绪。那所以呢，其实我觉得我在我的作品里面，其实气候这个议题啊，它是一个非常概念式的议题，不管是在各个方面。那其实可以，大家可以看到，像左呃右手边的那几幅那几幅作品，他们其实是在比较室内的地方拍摄。那左手边的呢，就是在阳光下面，在天然的环境下面拍摄的。所以可以看出来，它非常不同的地方。我觉得艺术家他。呃，是要表达的是呃气候，但是
，我自己在看的时候，我感受到的是另外一个心理层面，所要艺术家想要呃表达给我的那种呃有一点悲伤、有一点情绪的感受。我不知道我这样的感觉。是不是艺术家想带来的，还是我自己想太多了？嗯、um, ，I know that you are from using those photos. We actually we can feel that the weather, the the concept of weather that you mentioned. But at the same time, I also feel a bit of emotions, different emotions from the model space. So I'm wondering whether I'm thinking too overthinking it, or that's true. No, it's Margaret was always very discreet with me. But I think she mostly was.、Uh, I think I think you're. you're there's expression there.、Mm -hmm. I'm just not as interested in it myself. But it, it partly is is it, it's got to be me, but because I was taking the photograph, but also everything around her—the light, the rain, the cold, the temperature, usually cold. You know, so.、Uh, Yeah, maybe I think humanity takes itself too personally. A lot of what it is is about the weather.、Yeah. Okay, 但是我自己感受的比较多。呃，我当时的 model 叫 Margaret。那其实或许他当时有一些情绪，可是我说真的，我并没有太特别的注意到。对我来说，我当时的主要重点都放在这个气候天气。那当时我们拍摄的环境是非常寒冷的，非常冰冷的。那或许的确，它传达出一些人心上面的一些情感或情绪，可是我自己比较没有感受到。我知道，嗯，如果你成长在一个呃犹太的家庭，然后他告诉我说，呃，教育。教育啊、呃，文学跟艺术对他的影响很深。我想听听看 ，Roni 说说，呃，文学对他的影响有哪些 ？I know you were raised in a Jewish family, and you told me about how important education and literature was to you. So I'm wondering, can we elaborate a bit more about literature? About about literature, maybe our literature. Yeah. Um. um. It, well, first of all, it's a form of travel which I could never afford,、uh, and that started when I was really quite young,、um, getting around to different cultures and uh, uh, places uh, without having to go there.、Uh, and, and then, of course, the voice of the author, which is something I—I've never been clear that I'm particularly a visual visual artist, and in fact, I think. That idea to constantly, and we're getting it with gender in a lot too, but constantly breaking down identity so everything's got a name. It's kind of a little bit、uh, problematic now, I think,、uh, where you're always like adding a letter or another word. And, and the point is really, really that that's maybe not the way to identify things. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here. Maybe you think it's a personal thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the question concerning reading—reading reading has been, as opposed to literature, reading is really a big part of why I connect with literature. Because it's not just literature; I read a lot of journalism and nonfiction、uh, in general. I used to read philosophy and more, more abstract uh, materials, uh, and of course, poetry. Uh, pretty much anything that looks worthwhile will interest me. And reading, what it, it's another. I have a lot of. It, it, there's a lot of space in reading, to an, to be present, and、uh, I think I enjoy that. I enjoy my solitude, but more when I'm reading. Even not necessarily, but it's it's quite. That all mixes well together. I, I love solitude. I could probably do about ninety percent of my life in solitude, and I think I would have、uh, really a much more、uh, cheerful relationship with humanity. 嗯，就是像刚刚提到，其实我觉得阅读对我来说，就是文学对我来说，它其实是一种旅行的一种方式，它是一个媒介，让我可以早早的去到去了解各式各样不同的文化，而不用真的人到了当地。
。那我其实很早就开始这样的形式的旅行呢，我很早就开始阅读非常非常多的书籍。我阅读的不只是小说，不管是报章或者是呃杂志啊、非小说、哲学等等，甚至诗，我都非常非常喜欢。我觉得阅读带给我的是一个空间，在这个空间我可以非常安静，然后可以自己去感受。那同时呢，老实说，我自己非常喜欢这个独自的一个独自的一个感觉。我的生活里面大概百分之九十的时间我都是一个人的。那我觉得其实透过这样的一个独自安静的一个空间呢，其实让我跟这个人类群体的关系变得更好。嗯、um, ，在展间已经去左手边这些呃泰晤士河的照片里面，下面都有啊、呃、，Ronnie 他每一从不同阅读的地方啊、呃、的一小段话。那我好奇，这些话是本来就在你脑海里，还是你照了照片之后，你在阅读，陆陆续续加进去？这个创作的过程大概是一个什么样子的经历 ？As your work for the team, the things、uh, river. So I, you have a lot of captions, a lot of words underneath. So I wonder you. Were the words coming along when you were taking the photos, or you decided to put them afterwards? So, how was the process? So, so the original concept was a book of water, photographs of continuous band of water, and a continuous band of footnotes. I think I was drawn into it because of the inherent absurdity of it, right? To、um, footnote water. Not the idea of water, the image of water, right? So that began the kind of meditation, and I was writing well before I took photographs. And then when I took the photographs, I extended the commentary,、um, and it's very much my voice. It's very much of a kind of litany where I'm repeating and changing things slightly and. Carrying things on, almost like a lyric,、uh, to carry the flow of my language to accompany the flow of the water. 那些照片呢、啊？其实，在一开始，我本来是想要写一，想要做一本书。那这本书呢，其实就是不同的水，就是水一张一张的水的照片，一直不断的延续。那后来呢？其实我后来本来在想说，我要做一本书，上面是照片延续，然后下面都是注脚，一直不断的延续下去。我当时其实只是觉得这样做很特别。那其实我在很早之前我就开始写作，我自己常常会写一些只字片语。那在我照了那些照片之后呢，我发现哎，这些东西都可以延续下去，然后互相呼应。所以呢，后来就慢慢延伸、延伸，就下去看到这些水的每一个带给我的感受，还有他们可以配合之前做的呃写下来的这些文字。我知道，呃，文字对呃 r o n n i 是很重要的。那我们可不可以来讲一下这个呃 d i c k i n s o n 的这这个作品？ It's the whole world in there. It's <laughs> like how you choose. Like, ah,、uh, okay. yeah, yeah. You 怎么挑这些文字的？然后怎么把它做？就是为什么挑这些文字？为什么是这样的方式呈现 ？Why did you pick those lines, and why did you choose this form to present or to show them? Well, Dickinson, um, I I don't know how well acquainted you are with this particular writer, uh. For me, she's you know an extremely extremely important writer in American culture from the 19th century, and、uh, she <clears throat> her language reflects that she was in a discovery process her whole life. She never stopped discovering, but she never traveled either. So she was staying in her, she had a house her father's house. She lived in with with her、uh, her brother next door, her sister. She shared this building with,、uh, and it just was a normal house with a backyard and you know, not、uh, semi rural, you know.、Um, but from that little acre, she developed this these insights and、um, the language、uh, that I think is.、Um, 
is, is truly profound um, and inescapable. So if you say two butterflies went out at noon, well, it doesn't get more factual than that. And who would have thought of even pointing that out? I mean, why bother? But yeah, that really adds up to the big idea of life, I think. Uh, and those are first lines. These are the White Dickinson you see here are lines taken from her letters. But prior to the White Dickinson, there was key and cues. Key and cues are the first lines of Dickinson's poems. When she was alive, she didn't title them. Almost nothing was published in her lifetime as well. So she wasn't writing for an audience either. She was writing for herself. And that's why I talk about it as a discovery process. She was really living her life through that language and through those observations. Tatan 听起来好像没什么特别，很少会直接说出来这一点。可是呢，他把它说出来，把我们人生当中的事情说出来，好像不太特别，可是其实又有人把它说出来，在后在接着再去延伸下去，你可以看到他其实他有非常非常多深刻
嘛，大概会花到两到三周。那有的时候到最后的一点点的时候呢，其实它的玻璃的温度已经降到蛮低了，所以降到很比较低的时候，你必须要去把这个一一体玻璃把它切断嘛，就会后面留下一个小小的尾巴。如果温度很高的话，这个小小尾巴呢，可能就会融入这个玻璃作品当中。那如果这个温度比较低的话，这个小小尾巴就会留着。那对我来说，这是一个非常特别的东西。所以我也很期待大家等一下再去看展览的时候，去发现这个两个玻璃雕塑都有一个很美好的一个小记忆。那大家看得出来，我们今天跟 Ronnie 的对话是完全没有 rehearsal， 完全不知道事先要问什么。因为在 Ronnie 说我们可以好好的聊天，那我想问一下 Ronnie 说，我现在问他的问题，他还没有什么要补充的，自己来说一下这个展览呢？We, uh, as you can know, that we actually didn't rehearse any of the questions before because Ronnie wanted to have a very easy and very uh, fun conversation. So I'm wondering whether Ronnie has anything you want to share with us or anything that you want to tell us. That, that's really uh, appropriate because I was just thinking that I, I wanted to share something with the audience that's unique to Taiwan. Um, regarding a Taiwanese artist, um, when I was teaching at Yale Graduate School as a visiting artist, so I'd show up every couple weeks, and people who were interested in talking with me or showing me their work would sign up, and you'd go around and you'd talk to various students. And there was a, there was a student there who I've, whose name has stayed close to me and whose uh, spirit has stayed close to me, Ming Wei from Taiwan. And I thought, oh, that's my first introduction to Taiwan. This must be, you know, somehow I had a really strong connection to it. He was just uh, an unusually focused and um, funny, very important funny. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, and 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 very human, and not in any way plugged into the Western nonsense around value and all of this stuff. So he had this language that I really valued to begin with, and it wasn't one I grew up on. So we had this very strong connection, and it was as much I think with him as it, it is with the culture. So that's what I would offer you. Yeah. Sure. 确，我今天有一些特别想要跟大家分享的。当我在耶鲁担任客座艺术家的时候啊，其实我在那边有教一段时间的书。那在当时非常有趣的就是，呃，如果有任何人对我的作品或对我这个人或对我的艺术有兴趣的话，都可以来跟我约时间，那我们就可以聊聊天，然后互相了解。那在当时呢，有一位台湾的学生叫明伟，其实我当时非常非常讶异，因为他对我来说呢，就是我非常的，我们好像早早就认识，真的是莫年之交这样的感觉。而且很特别的是，他来自台湾，他也是我第一次跟台湾有所接触的媒介。呃，明伟这个人呢，他是一个非常的专注，然后他非常有幽默感，这一点很重要，大家记得。然后呢，他是一个非常真性情的人，所以他对于西方文化一定都要先讲价值啊、印象啊什么的，他。其实他比比较没有让我有那种感受，那他是个非常真诚真诚的人。那我觉得这些很多东西来自于他的个人，当然也来自于他的文化。那我今天特别想要提到这一点。那 Ronnie 要不要跟我们 share 一下这几天在台湾有没有什么特别的事情？啊、uh, ，Do you want to share with us anything you know, special that happens in the couple of days that you're in Taiwan? What you mean, my stomach flu? Beside that,、uh, do you see anything interesting while you're in Tainan or in Taipei? Well, I saw、uh, a lot of food.、Um, What's your favorite? Yeah, and I saw a lot of beautiful trees. Those are the things that I think I focused on. The banyan trees in the south. I don't know what that's called. Banyan.、Uh, yeah.、Um, Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to see enough architecture, but I think that's a point of real interest for me,、uh, and、uh, the nature, which I didn't get out out of the towns as as I would would like to. The trip was just too short. Um, I, I, I know you went to that. Oh, we are giving the Chinese Empire to the Wang Dahong Zizai. Can you tell us about your experience with Wang Dahong Zizai? Uh, I know that you you visited the Wang Dahong、uh, 
the building that we donate to remodel oh, yeah. right next I'm so time. glad you brought that up because I've been blanking on it because I meant to tell you that I was really, I, I really enjoyed seeing that early building uh, and, and the cafe. Both buildings were, it, it was a good energy there and it's a, a, a beautiful, they're beautiful uh, uh, incidents of, of uh, modern architecture in Taiwan. So uh, yes, that was that was definitely something important. Yep. Thank you. And also, also to be honest, it's always touching for me when a person cares so much about something that it's no longer about money. It's just about making some, putting something out into the world that, in terms of energy, just makes everything better. <laughs> 老师说我非常非常喜欢那个空间不只是它的建筑我也非常喜欢它里面传达出来的能量而且我更开心看到就是有些有人正在做不是为了金钱而做事而是真的为了去保存然后去把这个空间把这个感受把它带给更多人我真
。那其实大家可以看到，左边是原始种的鸟，右边的那个不是哦。那其实呃，在英文呢 ，bird 这个字呢，它也有就是脱呃，有点女性的脱缰野马这样的一个概念哦。所以我其实我也觉得这个字是非常非常特别的。那刚刚也提到说，为什么会是一对一对的？其实我很早期的作品就一开始就已经是一对一对的。那对我来说呢，一对一对它有点像是作品跟观赏者之间的关系。那我的确有一些在呃，有一些作品他们是单一单一，可是因为那是。呈现方式跟呃呈现的方式，或者是我想要观赏者跟这个作品的互动方式是不一样的。可是其实我大部分的作品都会是对对的。那我好奇，他刚刚说我们没有要聊 identity 这个东西，我们要不要聊一下呢？ Well, I think most identity is based in mistaken identity. That's the first thing I have to say about identity. Maybe it's the only thing. 关于身份，关于识别，这一个概念，我觉得其实是一个错误。应该说是一个，我我觉得最需要讲的就是错误的一个表现，其他没什么好的。Okay, that was a bad joke. So let me try again. So you want to say something else?、Uh, Identity.、Uh, I've always had trouble with identity because it's a social affect that one acquires, in the need to relate to relate to people, and I always had trouble with the breaking down by gender, by sexuality, by nation. All of these things seemed relatively irrelevant. I thought for myself. It's none of your business who I'm sleeping with. So why are you so occupied with my gender? I mean, this is not the basis of really anything. Okay, we all know that. That's old hat. But and it's very that was a very destructive influence even for myself. It made me aware in a very positive way, but it was also very harsh、uh, because I sort of grew up in this space between things, so-called androgyny. Which is nice. It's perfect now, but back then it was it was a game for other people, you know. And I felt very strongly, and I still do, that having the best of both worlds in this case, and it's really not two worlds, and not male female. There's there's a sliding scale there. Having I'd rather have all of it than only one. I mean, why would you choose one if you could have both? So that's where I'm at. So that's a little bit about identity, but then you have the trouble with am I a he or a she or a they or a them, and I don't agree with any of that. Okay, I was given a name, and that's that's the end of it. I got a name, and the name had a huge influence on me because in English the name Ronnie has no gender at all, which I thought was brilliant. You know,、well, I was up to the task of exploring that opportunity. So. So you love people to call you Ronnie, right? Well,、uh, or nothing. <laughs> you know, I mean, the That's point. That's a bad joke too. Okay. Probably, pro pronouns are really tiring. Really, having to have this pronoun always attached to you, and you know, with women, the other problem with identity becomes there are all these contingencies, qualifications that you put on women, women artists. What? What? You know, if you it, it, be an artist, how how is really seriously? How is gender a part of that other than the individual's autobiographical influences? You know, and of course those are different. Yeah, but why do we have to say it the way we do? Because we have to. We insist on this hierarchy, which also I do not agree with, and I don't abide by it. You know. Um, and some of the best qualities I feel I have for myself are self-sufficiency and a certain, as you pointed out, for the glass work, tenderness and strength. Good match, you know. I don't see that that's gender specific at all. So I think that way of thinking about others is pro so problematic, and it continues to be in the new. Uh, generation with the need to specify further, you're not a he, you're not a she, or a they, or that—that's the same problem. It's in, it's it's creating exclusivity. The one more thought, the most important thought: the idea of androgyny is the idea of integrating difference. 
as opposed to separating it. I'm a man, I'm not a woman. I'm a woman, I'm not a man. But if you're somebody like me, I get to take the energy from both, or I have the energy of both, and I value the energy of both. So that's me. uh 在我的概念里面我想今天很幸运哦我要谢谢这一次穿针引线好生活的团队然后谢谢立行然后这几天陪在荣宇身边谢谢然后最后我要谢谢我的团队文心艺术基金会啊 展览将近四个月的时间，然后呃，所有的细节、所有的go do you have anything else to say? No. <笑> Nothing. 谢谢，那我们是不是大家来照个相好了，好不好？Ronnie, why you want to sit here and we take good photo? Okay. Oh, okay. The photograph. Yes.